rain has moved out for now, but we are still feeling the effects uh, all across our region. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Reed Cowan in for Ryan Yamamoto. And yes, we both bought umbrellas. Finally, John <laughs> Ramos is up in the North Bay. The rain ended before 10 a.m. in Solano County, but the water kept coming. In Fairfield, it turned this creek into a roaring river of what looked like chocolate milk. Alfredo Perez had a hard time imagining how much water was actually rushing past him. I don't know. It's like never seen something like this here in, in this area in Fairfield. Really? I've been through storms and everything, and I've seen flooding water, but this is like, like not, like not, like never. The water was just a few scant inches from cresting the creek's banks, which had Don Mills keeping a wary eye on the situation. But despite that, Don said he actually welcomed all the rain. I want all the lakes full. I want Lake Berryessa full. Yeah. So you're willing to put up with this for uh, now? Yeah, sure, you know. Up the highway in Vacaville, Alamo Creek jumped its banks in the early morning hours, sending water into the Southwood neighborhood. Officials issued an evacuation warning for a large area near the creek, but most people stayed put. And when the rain stopped, the waters quickly receded. I moved my car up closer to the garage just to make sure, but we thought we'd wait it out. I'm more worried about tonight because there's more storms coming. While Solano suffered a threat, in Napa County there was a huge loss. A 275-year-old oak tree in front of the Visatui Winery in St. Helena was uprooted in the early morning hours. The massive tree had come to represent the winery's strength and longevity, and thousands of people picnicked and attended events under its shady branches. Visa Tui President Tom Davies says everyone at the winery is heartbroken by the loss. It has withstood the test of time, and, and maybe it's these kinds of trees, you know, that anchor us to what is really important and anchor us to the land and you just hate to see something like this go. Davies says they considered the tree part of the family and over the years had spent more than $100,000 to keep it healthy. These oaks, you know, shared the land with us and we know it's finite. And, and maybe that's what hurts the most is that you think something like this is just gonna last forever. It's just sad that we were here to see it go. I wish it would have been another 100 years from now. Davies says after all the natural disasters that Napa has survived, they tend to think that anything can be rebuilt. But the tree is something that cannot be replaced so easily. And that tree was so important to the winery that it has employed the same arborist for 40 years to look after it.